Good morning from American Traditional Outdoors. Hi. Yours? <laughs> Today is my son's fifth birthday and we are going to do a couple fun things. We're going to go to Tawas and do some side-by-side -side barrel racing. Uh, I've never done that before. Right now my rig is set up for ice racing so it's studded to the max and it's lowered. Um, they don't allow studs out there so this morning I got a job in front of me. I got to remove 2,000 studs. Uh, stay tuned. I'll keep you updated on what's happening next. So like I was saying this morning, uh, we're going to some races in Tawas, Michigan. Um, they're called barrel races. They're ATVs and side-by-sides. Um, it's not an ice track. It's on grass, a plowed grass lot. So we are going to remove about 2,000 studs from all of our tires. Um, these studs I rode on the pavement back and forth a couple times, so they need to come out anyways before my race on March 5th. Um, so yeah, it should be interesting. I'm not expecting a win, but it should be a good time. I think my son will enjoy it. Afterwards, we're going to go and have a little party uh, for him and uh, enjoy the day. Stay tuned and uh, let's see what happens next. Holy crap. All I can tell you is they come out faster than they go in. We are studless now. All right. So anyways, these barrel races, it's you run down, go around the barrel, and weave back through the barrels. And you have to stop at a certain spot. Never done this type of racing before. Um, never been to this event before. Don't know if it's going to be packed or dead. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a good day. Uh, wish us luck. You know what it is? Pit wipers are on. We're racing today. Cash is in the back sleeping. We're fueled up. Uh, we're getting ready to register. Races start at 11 or 1. It's 11 now. Wish us luck. All right, we have arrived. Let's uh, walk out and check out this track. I got a couple more studs I still got to pull out. But for the most part, she's studless. Or maybe I'll just leave them in. No, we'll take them out. So, there's two lanes. I believe you run down, go through, those, go around those two black barrels down there, come back through and weave through, and you have to stop before hitting the hay bales, I believe. And this ground is very frozen. So it should be a, oh wait, maybe you got to stop right there. I don't know. My first competitor. Oh boy. Freaking YXZ. Should have known. All right. So the way they got it set up here is you race. They give you three zip ties. And every time you lose, you lose the zip tie. Um, so far, it's just me and that YXZ. I uh, dropped a lot of air pressure out of the tires here. We're at like eight pounds all the way around. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Coming. We wound up with 10 four wheelers so far. Two side by sides. If we get some late comers to come in, we'll roll in. We we're going to do uh, winner takes all for the money. We're going to do two court classes, which kind of sucks for the side by sides because they're only 20 bucks. But. <laughs> But um, Ron from uh, Tawas Marine and Cycle is going to donate a bunch of stuff, so we'll divide it up so side by sides aren't coming for nothing. Um, we're going to run, this is the course. We're going to start at the start line. We have a box painted out there. We're going to run up here to the end of those last two barrels, do a figure eight around them. Come down here, you can sashay however you want through these barrels. This year, we're going to change it up. We're going to do two laps. So you're going to run up, do a figure eight, you're going to come down, sashay through, swing around this last barrel, whichever way you go, decide to go, it doesn't matter. You're going to race back up, do a figure eight, come back down, sashay through the second time, stop in the box. The rule is, if your front tires go beyond this line, you lose. So if this person is 20 seconds behind you, all they have to do is stop in the box to beat you. If you run through and 
they run through, whoever got there first is the winner. But the person that's behind, if you're behind, just make sure you stop in that box because you don't know this person could have slid through and you may be the winner. Don't just drive on through it. So we're going to do two laps. We'll go out, we'll do a parade lap, or I'll grab a four-wheeler and I'll show you kind of what we're talking about. Everybody can stand over there. Then we can fire up. We'll do, say, two rounds on each side. You know, so you can kind of feel which way you like. You know, two practice runs on each side. When you come down here, everybody has two zip ties on their four-wheeler or side-by-side. Stay stopped at the finish line. Whoever's the loser, someone's going to be there to snap one zip tie off. When you're out of zip ties, you're done. But in the meantime, when you come down and you lose, we have on that side, you'll see a set of cones. And on this side, you'll see a set of cones. You're going to line up. The losers are going to go that way to the left, facing the track to the left. You're going to line up along those cones. The winners are going to line up along these cones. So what it, what it winds up with is you'll have a, a line of lose, people that lost and a line of people that won. Then we're going to race two losers against each other until that line is down to nothing. And then we're going to start racing the winners against each other. It comes out to where it's double elimination. You're going to wind up with one win in the end. And like I said, when you get through at the end, stay stopped in the box until they decide who was the actual winner. They're going to snip a zip tie off. Double elimination after your second one. If we go through this really fast, we'll throw some zip ties on. We'll do something and do it again if you guys want to. Because there is a lot of people here. We do, that's why we made the double lap this time to kind of drag it out a little more because last time we had this many people you could get you can get through this in 20 minutes we want it to last an hour or two so that's it everybody can fire up the four wheelers really
first side-by-side -side race. Uh, we took home first place. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of racers, but I'm not 100%. I'll let you know what we won, but we won the pot. So today's been a good day. We're going to go and celebrate my boy's birthday now, and thanks for watching. After a good victory, we're going to go have some pizza and maybe a beer. <laughs> Alright, so I guess you guys probably want to know what I won, right? Well, not only did I win a cash pot, um, I'll show you what I got. So here we got a nice Perchville ATV racing sweatshirt hoodie. We got a sea -Doo book bag. All this other stuff was donated by a marine, a local marina nearby. So we got a sea -Doo book bag. A little uh, off-road vehicle uh, cleaning kit. Uh, $70 Can-Am work shirt. Crew, crew shirt. And a uh, ski beanie. Not too bad. Um, all in all, I had a great time, and uh, I'll definitely be back next year. So that about does it. We uh, we are full of food, uh, full of victory, and um, we're going to go enjoy the night. Um, next race, March 5th in Houghton Lake, a rescheduled event. Uh, be sure to tune in for that. Until um, next time.